Welcome. I promised you to talk about uh, what makes us different from other people who train uh, leadership. And uh, let me start with a metaphor. First of all, you have to make it clear that there's a couple of things that you have to sit down and learn on the school bench. And there are certain things that you can't learn on the school bench. Let me take an example. A few examples. The alphabet, you will never ever be able to learn the alphabet by experience. Calculating, same story. You have to sit down and train and train and train and train and train to get this right. Swimming. When I started in school a long time ago to learn to swim, the teacher, he gave us a cartoon. So we have to look at these, all these pictures that was drawn here in this uh, cartoon and then we learned uh, well, how to do this. Being finished with that cartoon, he then took us over to the gym, and then over the gym we got a pillow on our stomach, and then we have to lay on the floor and swim as much as we can. How we could that. Then came the day where we had to go out swimming. The bus arrived. We were sitting there. All of us were very excited. Now we have to go into the water and really prove that we could swim. I refused to do that completely because I knew that what I had learned in the past was not healthy when I out there in the water. I have to do that by experience. So you can't learn swimming in an under school bench. This is something you have to experience. Same thing with leadership. Yes, you can learn a lot, re read a lot of cases and read a lot of books, but that will not make you any better at being a leader. And leader is something that you have to experience on your own body. How we do that is completely different from any other place in this world when we go on the leadership training. Because we take each and every individual, try to figure out where is this person, this individual, in their personal development. We do that by focusing on a couple of things. First of all, their strengths. What are you really good at? What, did you, what do you like to do? What, <coughs> what kind of people around you support you? And these kind, and then we take all this together for longer as much as we can because we are a firm believer that growing the business is growing people. That means that we have to grow the people. That means that we have to strengthen up your strength and make them even stronger. We have to strengthen up your relationship to other people so you can get the support for them that you need to get forward, also to communicate to them. You also have to focus on what you are really like to do and what you're really good at doing. And all of this together, we take that into the future. And then we say, okay, what do we need to learn now? Then we start introducing new words that people have heard before, but I never tried to train them on their own body. For example, what is ethic? What does that mean to you? What is morale? What does that mean to you? What is integrity? What is enrichment? What is and here comes inclusiveness. How to include people, how do you include people in your own sphere around you? And intactness, how to do that? All these things are something that we train in the classroom and each and every one trained by themselves. And by doing that, they improve their, what I call, awareness about themselves. In the training, we call this high quality thinking. High quality thinking is actually just one thing, that is to take out your consciousness about what is going on around you. For example, many people are not aware of how they breathe, their breath that they have. People are not aware of what they eat. People are not aware of what kind of influence other people have on them. To take all this up, you learn the reverse, that means that how can you take up your energy level to an absolutely outstanding energy level? This is something you have to experience. I can't tell you that, but I can make sure that you experience it when it happens. By taking your awareness up, your awareness is the only way that you can actually take up your consciousness. When you take up your consciousness, you start thinking high quality thoughts. That will make you a leader. One of the absolutely focused points here using this high quality thinking is being a seeker. Being a seeker means that you look at the present as it is, not as you want it to be. 
not as in the past, not as in the future, but as it is right now, then you align to that reality with your high quality thinking, being a seeker, try to align yourself to that future, line, <coughs> align your leadership style so you get the outcome that you really want out of 20 different people, and that's exactly what we do. So we train people how to become a seeker, try, uh, how to, to adjust to the future, how to align themselves into that future, whatever happens, with high quality awareness. Thank you very much. That's what we do.